Radio Rahim here with Lewis Ritson, British champion, lightweight, explosive, explosive power you showed in this fight, but at the very top of it, it looked like you might be in a little trouble. You want to talk to me about like, uh, the start of the fight, the first round? Yeah, he came out like a whirlwind, didn't he? Uh, but we weren't expecting that. Uh, he just shot out the blocks and, I mean, if somebody's plan is to do that, then you're going to get caught with punches, but we didn't expect him to do it, and then, but... It, then again, it suited us down to a take because we thought Scotty was going to move and he's a good boxer, but he ended up standing there and didn't get taken out. He seemed to be um, repeating the same kind of motion. He had something in mind that he felt like was, would work for him, and it was working early. How did you, did you keep your calm in there? Did you feel like uh, at any point, like, hey, man, uh, this is going to be a tougher fight than I expected? No, well, you know, we've been working on certain parts, uh, certain things in the gym with Neil uh, Fano, and he's been learning to move ahead more. And then first round, I was just sort of stood there, static, just taking them on the gloves. Mm. I got back to the corner, and he started, you know, move that head, move that head. And then when I started moving that head, in the second, I felt that like he was missing the shots quite easy, and that's when the hooks were coming over the top and ended up hurting him. When would you say that the the momentum of the fight changed? The fight was so fast paced, both of you guys were landing incredible shots, but as the fighter inside the moment, was there a time where you were like, hey, I'm coming on and yeah. he's coming and he's, he's letting off? The first 20 seconds of the second round, I could feel the difference in his punches from the first to the straightway in the second, and it seemed like he was tired straightway. I think he had put too much into the first round, too many power punches, and I thought he was, you know, I was just, when we're both there, uh, I thought he was, whoa, there's, there's a massive difference in his punches. Yeah, he's quite tired, mm. and uh, just stepped it up when in for the kill. Talk to me about the knockdown. How did you bring that knockdown about? Yeah, I, well, I, work, I remember I think it rolled under his right, then hit him with the left hook, then he was away, and I can't really remember much from there. It was just sort of, I knew he got the stand in the eight count, the ref jumped in, and uh, I was teeing off in the second, and the towel came in. The towel came in, and you guys were toe to toe in the phone booth. He was still scrapping with all his heart, and as were yeah. you. Did, you. did you feel like that was a good time for his corner to stop the fight? Yeah, definitely. I thought he was out on his feet. Like I was, he was throwing the punches, but there was nothing in them, and I had. Like I see I was still strong as a bull, the meat was still in the punches, and I, could, I knew I, every punch I was hitting him with, I could see I was hurting him, mm. and uh, I thought I knew it was only a matter of time before the towel come in. Well, I'll say right now, that was the most exciting fight of the night so far. Lewis Ritson, light, weight, British champion. It's a pleasure to watch you work tonight, Thank man. Well done. Thanks. Tough effort. Radio Raheem with Lewis Ritson. Thank you very much.